What's up YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug and I'm back again with my Ninja Combi. Today we're making some easy spaghetti guys. And as you guys know, spaghetti is a classic, right? But the reason why I'm doing this um, recipe, not only because it's a classic, is because I've not used the um, saute function on this machine nor the steam. So we can make a classic and use those two functions, see how they work. And, uh, you know, put out another great recipe for you. So let's get started. And by the way, we're using two pounds of ground beef. I'm going to kind of just space it out a little bit. I'll do it a little more once we get it into saute mode. So as you know, on this machine, um, in saute mode, it's not going to be open. So kind of have to slide this tray out and make any adjustments you need. So I'm just going to be proactive and kind of just do it like that. All right, let's get it closed. All right, guys, make sure this little toggle thing up here is on the down position on the air fryer um, position, which is this side of your functions. Let's turn it on. We're going to go down to sear and saute. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. So temperature, I want to go all the way up to high. I'm going to hit start. Oh, we have to open the door. That's right. So let's do that. Hold on. You have to excuse me. This is the first time I'm using this function. Sear and saute. So have it open. It should be sizzling in about four to five minutes. So you guys see what I was saying before the top is not open so that's why I just went ahead and put the ground beef in now because to me it to me it would be awkward putting it in like that or when it's hot taking it out and then putting it in I mean I just rather just put it in that way but either way you want to do it is totally fine okay guys this is about 45 seconds in impressive all right, so we got like, a, you know, like a minute in or so. And I'm just going to flip it over so that the other side could cook. At this point, guys, I'm going to season it. This is some salt. Now, I'm going to uh, cook it on saute for about another, I don't know, three, four minutes. And then, it to you know, to cook it about 90, 90 95%. Because we're going to steam this for 18 minutes. It's definitely going anything that's not cooked. In fact, if I put it in right now, any pink by the time the 18 minutes done would be done a long time ago. So no worries there. But I'm going to season it now, add some onions, put it in there for about two to three minutes. First, I'm going to go in with some garlic. And then some Italian seasoning, guys. my red onions and that's a small red onion chopped up all right while that's cooking down guys I got some chicken bouillon powder you could just use chicken stock if you have that but this is what I'd rather use because this never well this would take years to expire whereas chicken stock or broth should I say would expire I don't know in a month or so so Now, of course, you could use plain water as well, but, you know, um, chicken broth or... All right, guys, I'm going to take my four cups, put it right in there, nice and good. Go ahead and put in your pasta sauce. We're using two jars, guys. Two jars. This is my spaghetti that I'll be using. All we're doing is going to break it in half and line them up in there. All 
All right, guys, we are filled to capacity here. We did a whole box of spaghetti. Ready to put it in, guys. All right, guys, I'm going to flip the switch up, turn it on. We're going to go down to, oh, no, that's the wrong button. We're going to go down to steam, and I'm going to go to 18 minutes. Now, when you're using steam, temperature doesn't matter because it's locked at a temperature, so there's... There, there's no control over the temperatures. Just the time will hit start, it'll preheat, and when it gets to the temperature, the 18 minutes will start. All right, we came to temperature. About two minutes have passed. Guys, I added two minutes, so a total of 20 minutes. We're gonna take it out. Let's see what we're working with. If if it's too watery, we'll just put it back in. But I think it should be good. The spaghetti popping out is a good indication. All right, guys, let's see. Like I said, if it's too watery, we'll put it back in. And I think I have an idea. So far, so good. Yeah. Now, I like my spaghetti saucy. So... This might be too much sauce for some of you guys. So if you don't like it saucy, I would just do three cups. If you like it a little saucy, then I would do three and a half. If you like it saucy like this, four cups is the way to go. This is going to be some good eating, guys. And we, have, we, at, we are at capacity here. You can't do more than a box of spaghetti in this machine. So... But that's what we normally do anyway, right? When we cook spaghetti, we usually do one box anyway. So this right here is a perfect example of what the difference would be between the Speedy and this. You can't, you, you I mean, it'd be very hard to cook a whole box of spaghetti in the Ninja Speedy. This not so hard. I already told you in the beginning of the video, so I don't have to say it again. So link will be in the description. I'll just say that. Shout out to my viewers and subscribers that hit the like button way before my video is even finished. I appreciate that. You know what? Looking at this now, nope. I would use, if I do this again in this machine, I'm using four cups of water. The consistency, like it looked um, juicier or saucier, should I say, in the in the pan. But actually, when you take it out, it's fine. So four cups it is. I'm, that's what I put in the description. This is perfect. All right, guys. You saw the paper towel go up. It means it's time to eat. It's going to be a late dinner for me, guys. It's going to be mighty fine. I want to get that piece of meat. All right, well, we'll just get this piece first. You get the first bite. Got it? Mmm. Lots of flavor right there. Very good. Very good. Your family will be pleased. Have another bite. Got it. Mm. Have some garlic bread with it, some lime. We good to go. One thing I did notice with um, using the four cups of water, the grip. In the past, sometimes the spaghetti would be a little clumpy. Some of it would be hard a little. You got to like break it up and cook it a little. No, that wasn't the case at this time. Everything was cooked perfectly. I just had to mix it around a little bit. But not because of the noodles being hard or anything. Just to sp dis distribute, you know, the sauce and everything into the spaghetti. Incorporate it better. That's all I had to do. Mmm. Mmm. And it's ready to serve. 
It was good. That was fun, guys. And what I love about this recipe here, guys, this is a perfect example of what this machine can do. Now, this one box of spaghetti can easily feed four to six people. Easy. So this is literally a perfect machine for your family. And you're not you're not trying to, you're not, you're not over doing it by trying to shove stuff in to make it a lot of food. We just laid it out and we just cooked it. We didn't have to force anything. We didn't have to, right? That's what that's so far what I love about this machine. So far. And this is my second cook, so you know, I got you know, a little bit of a learning curve. I mean, I'm, I'm, you know, I've done over 50 videos on the Speedy, but this is just a little different. But I'm, I'm loving it so far. I'm even going to start my playlist. You'll see it in the comment section. I'm going to start my playlist today. So this is like my, um, my third video, but my second official cook. Um, so excited about that. And we just jumped in and did it. You see how easy it was? So as you know, this could be you. So anyway, let me stop talking. Everything I did, all the stuff I use will be in the description. Check that out. Look out for the next video. Make sure you subscribe. Hit like if you like it. And I'm out.